are unable to log into Windows 10 on your local account because you've forgotten your password, you can restore your computer back to factory settings to remove the account and start over. It's important to note though that during this process you'll lose any files or applications that you've put on your computer. Also, if you're using a Microsoft account rather than a local one, you can actually reset your account password online from another device. To get started, click the power button in the lower right corner. And then, while holding down the shift key, click restart. Continue to hold down the shift key until your computer loads into this options menu. From here, click troubleshoot. Then click reset this PC. And finally, click remove everything. Your computer will restart, and from here, you can click Just Remove My Files since you're keeping your computer. You can use Fully Clean the Drive if you're planning to recycle or give your computer to someone else. It'll warn you that all of your personal files, apps, and programs are going to be removed. When you're ready, click Restart. Your computer will start the reset process, which could take about 20 minutes or so, depending on your model. After this, it'll restart and continue with the installation, which could take another 20 or 30 minutes and restart several times along the way. Once it's finished, it'll load into Windows, and you'll be able to go through the first time setup and create settings. It's easy to do so using Acer Care Center. To get started, you can click on the Start button, click All Apps, click on the Acer folder, and then click Acer Recovery Management. Or you can just click the search box, type Acer Recovery, and click on Acer Recovery Management in the search results. Either way will bring up a box asking you to allow the app to make changes. Just click Yes, and Acer Care Center will launch right into Recovery Management. To completely restore your computer back to factory defaults, click the Get Started button next to the Reset Your PC option. You can choose to keep your personal files or have them removed along with your apps and settings. If you want to start from a completely clean slate, choose the Remove Everything option. After a few moments, you'll be asked if you want to clean your drive. Doing this can take several hours, but it's probably the option that you would want to use if you're recycling or selling your PC. If you're not, you can click Just to Remove My Files, which is much faster. Next, you'll see a confirmation letting you know that your files, apps, and programs are going to be removed, along with any changes made to settings. When you're ready, click Reset. Your computer will restart and begin the reset process. This could take 20 minutes or so, depending on your model. And once it's finished, your computer will restart and go through the rest of the Windows installation process, which could take another 20 or 30 minutes, restarting several times along the way. When it's done, your computer will restart one last time and take you through the Windows setup process that you went through when you first took your PC 